This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 2, Generating Equivalent Expressions in Module 3. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students generate equivalent expressions using the fact that addition and multiplication can be done in any order and any grouping. Students recognize how any order, any grouping can be applied in a subtraction problem by using the additive inverse relationship to form a sum, and likewise with division problems by using the multiplicative inverse relationship to form a product. Students recognize that any order does not apply for expressions mixing addition and multiplication, leading to the need to follow the order of operations. Pause the video and copy the essential question, how do you apply any order, any grouping with subtraction problems? For the opening exercise, additive inverses have a sum of zero. Fill in the center column of the table with the opposite of the given number or expression. Then, show proof that they are opposites. The first row is completed for you. The expression is 1, the opposite is negative 1, and the proof is that a number and its opposite equals 0. Pause the video to complete this table, and then resume the video to check your answers. Check your answers in the middle column. The opposite of 3 is negative 3. The opposite of negative 7 is 7. The opposite of negative 1 half is 1 half. The opposite of x is negative x. The opposite of 3x is negative 3x. The opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. So you use the opposite of x, which is negative x, and the opposite of 3, which is negative 3. In the last row, the opposite of 3x minus 7 the opposite of 3x is negative 3x, and the opposite of subtracting 7 is adding 7. Pause the video and read the scaffolding box to recall this information. In example 1, we are going to subtract an expression. Copy the problem. The quantity 40 plus 9 minus the expression 30 plus 2. Recall that the rule of subtraction is adding the opposite. Bring down the first expression, 40 plus 9. Subtraction means add the opposite. So we want the opposite of the quantity, 30 plus 2. Simplify the first part of the expression. 40 plus 9 is 49. The opposite of a sum. We want the opposite of this sum is the sum of the opposites. So the opposite of positive 30 is negative 30. The opposite of positive 2 is negative 2. Continue to simplify the expression. 49 plus 30 is negative 9 is positive 19. Positive 19 plus negative 2 is 17. Also, let's complete the problem using the order of operations. Copy the problem. 40 plus 9 minus the quantity 30 plus 2. Following the order of operations, we must finish everything in parentheses before we do this su subtraction. 40 plus 9 is 49. 30 plus 2 is 32. 49 minus 32 is 17. The reason we completed this problem in two different ways is to see which way is more efficient. You can see that following the order of operations is more efficient in this case. For our next problem, we're going to subtract the quantity 4x from plus 11 from this expression. So let's go ahead and copy the problem. 3x plus 5y minus 4. And we want to subtract the entire quantity, 4x plus 11. The first thing that we want to do is the rule of subtraction, so that we will add the opposite. And we'll add the opposite of the entire expression. Recopy the first part, 3x plus 5y minus 4. And now we want to use the opposite of a sum. So here we are going to bring down the 4x plus 11. And again, what we've done here is we've changed the subtraction 
to adding the opposite. Now we're going to use the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. First, let's just recopy the first part of the problem. So we have 3x plus 5y minus 4. Now we'll use the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. The opposite of 4x is negative 4x. The opposite of 11 is negative 11. To continue to simplify the expression, we can use any order, any grouping, once it's all addition. So if you'll notice, right here we have minus 4. We need to rewrite that as adding 4, adding a negative 4. Now we can use any order, any grouping. So let's take a look. We have 3x plus negative 4x. Those are like terms, so we want to group them together. 3x plus negative 4x. Then the 5y has no like terms, so we'll just bring that down. And our last like terms are adding the negative 4 and adding the negative 11. So simplifying our final answer, 3x plus negative 4x is negative x plus 5y and simplifying the last part is plus negative 15. Then we'll rewrite that last step of plus a negative using the rule of subtraction. Negative x plus 5y and adding a negative is the same as subtracting. So that is our final answer. And then the properties that we used here. The first thing that we did was we wrote subtraction as adding the opposite and that is the rule of subtraction. Then the next thing that we did is we use the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. Then we used any order, any grouping to reorder the problem to simplify the answer. In example two, combining expressions vertically. At this time, we're going to skip this example. We may come back to it later. We'll go on to example three, using expressions to solve problems. A stick is x meters long. A string is four times as long as a stick. Express the length of the string in terms of x. Drawing a picture can really help you to visualize what this problem is about. So express the length of the string in terms of x. It says that the stick is x meters long. So our string is x. I just realized I got that backwards here. Our stick is x. And our string is four times as long as x. So we have four times as long. So our expression is 4x for the string. The total length of the string and the stick is 15 meters long. How long is the string? So together we have x for the stick and 4x for the string. Together that would equal 5x and that is 15 meters. Well 5 times a number equals 15. That number would equal 3. So our stick is 3 meters long. Our string is 4 times that long, which is 12. And so that is 12 meters for the length of the string. Example 4, expressions from word problems. It costs Margo a processing fee of $3 to rent a storage unit, plus $17 per month to keep her belongings in the unit. Her friend Carissa wants to store a box of her belonging in Margot's storage unit, tells her that she will pay her $1 toward the processing fee and $3 for every month that she keeps the box in storage. Write an expression in standard form that represents how much Margot will pay for the storage unit if Carissa contributes. Then determine how much Margot will pay if she uses the storage unit for six months. Margot is going to pay $17 per month. And we write that as 17 times M, which is 17M. 
M stands for Margo here, $17 a month. Plus, she has to pay $3 processing fee, no matter how long she keeps the unit. And her friend Carissa says that she will apply $1 toward the processing fee, and she'll pay $3 per month. $3 per month is written as 3M. And this is her friend Carissa. Write an expression in standard form that represents how much Margot will have to pay if Carissa continues. So we have the 17M plus 3, which is what the company charges. And then if you subtract what Carissa is going to contribute, which is 3M plus 1. Remember that subtraction means adding the opposite. So we are going to add a negative. 17M plus 3 plus, and now we want the opposite of each term. So that's going to be a negative 3M, which is subtracting the $3 a month that Carissa will pay. And we are going to add a negative 1, and that is subtracting the dollar that Carissa will contribute. So in standard form, Rewriting using any order, any grouping. 17m plus negative 3m plus 3 plus negative 1. We've regrouped it to combine our like terms. 17m plus negative 3m is 14m. And 3 plus negative 1 is 2. So this is the expression that Margo will pay for renting the unit. Then it says, Determine how much she will pay if she uses the unit for six months. So we want to replace the M with six. So we have $14 per month that Margo pays times the number six months plus the $2 that Margo pays. 14 times six plus two. So we have 84 plus two and that is 86. And that means that Margot will pay $86 toward the storage unit rental for six months. In this example five, extending the use of the inverse to division. The purpose of using the inverse for division is that division is not any order, any grouping. But if you rewrite a problem using a multiplicative inverse, then you can apply any order, any grouping. Multiplicative inverses have a prod product of 1. Find the multiplicative inverse of the terms in the first column. Show that the given number and its multiplicative inverse have a product of 1. Then use the inverse to write each corresponding expression in standard form. The first row is completed for you. So the given number is 3 and the reciprocal is 1 over 3. Then proof that this is correct. 3 times 1 third. 3 is written as a fraction 3 over 1. 3 over 1 times 1 over 3 is 3 thirds, and 3 thirds is equivalent to 1. Then, use the inverse to write a corresponding expression. The expression given is 12 divided by 3. When you use division and multiply by the reciprocal, the first number in the term stays the same. So we have 12. Instead of division, we multiply, and instead of 3, we use 1 third. So the equivalent expression is 12 times 1 third and the answer is 4. Pause the video and complete the rest of the table and then resume the video to check your work. In the middle column, the inverses are 1 fifth, negative 5 thirds, and 1 over 2x. Then this is 65 times 1 fifth and negative 10 and 6. And I just wanted to go over in this column, the 65 times 1 fifth, that would be 65 divided by 5, which is 13. So just to emphasize that dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Then here, I wanted you to make sure and understand that when you have 12x divided by 2x, a number divided by itself is 1. So x divided by itself is 1. And then 12 divided by 2 is 6. Similarly, you could simplify ahead of time. The common factor is x. Divide by x and you get 1. Divide by x and you get 1. And here you can divide by 2. 
2 divided by 2 is 1, and 2 into 12 is 6. And 6 times 1 is 6, and 6 over 1 is 6. In this lesson, you have learned to rewrite subtraction as adding the opposite before using any order, any grouping. Rewrite division as multiplying by the reciprocal before using any order, any grouping. The opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposite. Division is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal.